Hey everybody, this is Laura Newman-Eckstein. I'm the Judaica Digital Humanities Coordinator here at the Penn Libraries. And I'm here to talk to you today about Scribes of the Cairo Geniza, a new Zooniverse project in partnership with us here at the Penn Libraries, the Princeton Geniza Project, and the JTS Libraries. The first thing that you'll want to do is you'll want to navigate to zooniverse.org. From there, you'll go to the top right-hand corner I already have an account, but you'll go right next door to where I click sign in and you'll click register and you'll make a new account. From there, you'll go to the top left hand corner and you'll click projects. Currently, because Scribes of the Cairo Geniza is Zooniverse's newest project, it shows up first. However, when it doesn't show up first, you can always search for Scribes of the Cairo Geniza using the search feature. Now you're at the landing page. From here, you can navigate to About, Classify, Talk, Collect, and our blog. We suggest you first navigate to the About page, where you can learn a little bit more about the Cairo Geniza and see a short video featuring one of our team members, Marina Restow, who talks a little bit more about why these classifications matter. You can also learn a little bit more about our team, see frequently asked questions, and navigate to some other educational links. Next up is classification. Because I've had the project come up before, the tutorial doesn't come up automatically, but it will for you if this is your first time. Go through the tutorial carefully. I'm gonna go through it quickly, but you should take some time to go through this. As you go through the questions, you'll see that under each question, there's need some help with this task, and we give examples. There's also a field guide tab. So I'm gonna go through a classification, and I think this is formal Hebrew. I think that's still formal Hebrew on the bottom there. And I don't see any diagonal or perpendicular text in the margin, but I think I do see some colons there. So I'm gonna flag that up. There we go. Okay. And so I could press done or I could press done and talk. And I'm gonna choose to press done and talk. And so I can tag those colons if I want to. Um, and I can say hashtag colon. If you see something else, like if you have a question about a certain mark that's there, you could say hashtag question mark, or you could say I see a drawing there, hashtag drawing. There's a bunch of popular tags on the right hand side of the page that you can talk about with the experts. And you're off. Happy classifying. Thanks for watching. For any other questions, tweet at us at JudaicaDH. Use the hashtag GenizaScribes or find us on Facebook at facebook.com forward slash judaicadh.